This is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 26 of Path of Exile on the PlayStation 5. We are exactly where we were at the end of part 25, people. And it's been a fair couple of weeks since I've played it. I've been on with a bit of uh, Elder Scrolls Online, so that's up on the channel if you want to go and see me play a bit of that. And I've, I've kind of got ahead of myself with uh, episodes of that, so uh, quite a few of you guys were asking me to do more Path of Exile. So here we are, people. A had every intention of coming back anyway. Now we are in uh, into part two, people, if I remember rightly. And we are back in Lion Eyes Watch, which is no longer shrouded in darkness. So we've got a few people to talk to here. Let's see what's going on. Now there's a pair of eyes I could never forget. If the tales are true, those peepers of yours have seen all the wonders of Rayclaff by now. And a few things they likely wish they had. Oh, and no need for us to speak of Boreoff. My ears are brimful with the sorrows these wretched companions of yours have been spilling. Now, I'm sure you've noticed that Lion Ice Watch has seen better days. Now, once Public Township has, has become a brooding quagmire of gloom and despair, I blame the unrelenting weather. As you know, I am both a humanitarian and a strong believer in the soul-sustaining power of story. Back when I was still captain of the Merry Gull, many days at sea afforded me time to work on my thespian aspirations. I wrote a theatrical epic, a one-man show entitled Cedric and the Buxom Stranger. I sealed the manuscript inside a roll of oiled leather and stashed it in the hole for safekeeping. Perhaps you could salvage it for me from that tidal island upon which my poor ship came to rest. Who knows, maybe we can bring some joy back to Lion Eyes Watch with a bit of live entertainment. Well, it seems all, you know, we've got to save the world clearly by doing this job. <laughs> it seems very important, so we will do it. Uh, I'm not sure where we were with selling items, what have we got? Uh, oh, we've got a couple of things we've picked up, but nothing too tremendous. I should really have had a look through this before I went recording, eh? But never never ye mind. Right. Yeah, we've got a couple of... Uh... <laughs> uh, they're so big that it's going off the screen just about. I can't even see at the top. They're both, uh, they're both um, uniques, I should say. So I think we can dump that. We can probably dump all of this, to be fair. Uh... Yeah. Well, that is a level 30, uh, well, item level 47 as opposed to the item f level 15 that we've got on. And it's life per hit that I keep not getting rid of it for, and this one doesn't have it either. Oh yeah, well it's got, it's got per enemy killed. Critical strike multiplier with bows, physical damage with attacks, lightning damage to attacks, increased global accuracy rating. I mean, it is better in every regard. Uh, but we would lose our life per hit, which is probably not a lot now, but it is still life per hit on every shot that I do. There is gain 6, 3 to 6 on uh, life per enemy killed, but... Getting mana per enemy killed as well, but only one on the new one if we put it on. Uh, that said, we do have life gain on very specific things that we've got. Also, I think we've got a couple of other things with life on hit on them. Possibly a necklace, maybe? Yeah, three life per enemy hit on the necklace. Life per enemy killed on that one. So we've got life coming from other places. Life per se life per second per level. Alright. So that's 53 life per second, surely not. That's pretty decent, isn't it? If that's true. It regenerates three life per second per level. And I'm level 53. So, we should be getting a decent amount off of that. Uh, that's enemy killed life as well. I'll tell you what. 
Uh, we'll put it on and we'll carry the other one around with us for a little while. Looks a bit shit compared to the other one. <laughs> right, let's crack on. Like, right, best still, let's just dump a few bits on you, mate. Evasion rating is a lot higher on that one we've picked up, but we've only got one socket on it. Got four on the other one. Yeah, it's an item level 47. Not that that matters particularly. Also, we'll need to be careful about what we're taking off because we need to make sure we don't drop our strength, I think was the thing that we... Uh... Right, let's get rid of it. <clears throat> let's get rid of everything we're not going to use. It feels really weird <coughs> playing this game now after playing Elder Scrolls Online. Hi, Isle! Not to mention I'm on the PlayStation controller and not the Xbox, well, uh, Xbox Series X controller. Okay. Alright, we've got somebody else to talk to up here. Tarek Lee. First we hear that Oriath has lost its bloody mind. And then you turn up. Doesn't take a scholar to work out how these two events might be connected. I don't know what's going on out there, and I probably wouldn't understand it if I saw it with my own two eyes. What I do know is this. The world we knew, it's gone. Now we have to do our damnedest to make sure we don't go with it. Nessa, I saw her one night, running out across the coast, headed in the direction of the mudflats. Called out to her. But she didn't even turn her head. Maybe she couldn't hear me. Maybe she didn't want to. I don't bloody know. I tried to run after her, but she'd vanished into the darkness before my feet had barely touched the sand. So I tracked her all the way to the mudflats. And that's when her tracks they just stopped. No sign of meeting someone or something. No sign of a struggle. It's like one moment she was running and the next, gone. Look. I've heard some things about what you've done. Things that beggar belief. Now you can do this. Please. Find Nessa. Bring her back to us. I was wondering where she got to. Well, he said the mudflats didn't give me a quest for that, though, did it? Not that. Oh, yeah, there it is. The Brine King. Now, the only thing that's frustrating me now is that and I had a feeling at the end of the last part, it's like, oh, it's going to ask me to go around all of the same areas all over again, which is not great, is it? <laughs> but we'll see how we go. We can, however... Oh, you're joking. So we, can, we have to actually wander the whole land again as well. So it doesn't even keep where we've been before. Well, okay, there might be a reason for it. I'll try not to get too hung up on it. Baron of Inkley, you have transgressed against your god and your fellow man. You have been a willing vessel for the following sins. Unlawful avarice, one count of petty larceny. Pecuniary sloth, being unable to sustain an occupation of value to society. God has charged me with your... I don't... Mm, okay. You are hereby exiled to... I, I mean, we'll see what happens with enemy kills as well. I'm assuming that the enemies are going to be a lot more difficult here now. With your beloved father. <laughs> I've got, our, our little guy is still active, our little dude. Three scroll of wisdoms just off the bat. What the hell is that? Holy fuck. Well, that were new. 
Quite cool, like. Well, I better be getting some decent bloody XP off these badges, because I'm getting absolutely pummeled. Oh, Christ, yeah, we are doing. Just got a massive lump of XP there. I feel like I'm going to start getting some kit as well here. Armour and evasion. Yeah, it's all armour and evasion there, isn't it? Oh, nice. Got another different looking tricorn. I'll have a look at that in a second. Oh, things with five sockets. Well, holy shit. I'm not going to be able to avoid a lot of this stuff, am I? I mean, it's a load better than... I mean, it's only got three sockets, sadly, but... It's got a much better evasion rating than the wolf one we've got on. And it probably looks badass as well. It looks quite smart. We've got 439 evasion on our chest piece though, which is really high. Well, for now. Not that bothered about the helm. But that hat, if that was a four socket, I would have put it straight on. What's sun leather? What's that? Oh, it's just a, oh, it's an evasion only thing. Meiji type thing. Actually, I don't know if it is. It might be for me. It says leather on it. Yeah, it's got dexterity all over it. requires 21 dex. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, don't think we'll ever use it, but... Hey, Oh, yeah. <laughs> Try to remember the bloody buttons, people. Been away from the game too long. Interestingly, I know I'm sort of running the same areas. I don't know whether it's because we've been away from these areas for so long or whether it is actually a different, feel, got a different vibe. It feels different though, definitely. Take them out from up here, they can't touch me. An orb of chance that I can't pick up. I'm missing my 10% uh, speed that we had to give up for a piece of item that we put on. Oh, I'll tell you what I am forgetting. Oh, hello. To heal is what I'm forgetting.
bone circlet. Four socket certainly looks like it's going to be the standard, doesn't it? Wait, like he says after picking a hat up that's only got three sockets on it. Yeah, I mean, what I was getting at there earlier is it does feel kind of like a new area, really. But I don't know if it's, if it's because we've been away for so long that it just feels different or whether it actually is a different layout. Oh, well, the fucking shit is happening, people. I saw that coming a mile off. That's why I avoided in the first place. I'm feeling extremely under-kitted out, people. Ooh, hello. Orb of scouring. I don't know what I've done investigating this area, but I've missed loads. There is a doorway, but we'll not go there yet until we've looked up here. Suruk! Let's go back up. Well, the two doorways are down to the bottom there, so if we just go back up and have a little look. Big section at the top looks undiscovered. Christ, am I the harder than bloody bosses, these enemies now? I mean, not for actually getting damage on them, but for them taking damage off me, it's outrageous. Might as well be wearing silk pyjamas, people. She'll be wearing pink pyjamas when she comes, oh yeah. She'll be wearing pink pyjamas when she comes. Right, let's see. We've got the mud flats. Oh yeah, it is the same. I mean, it, it should be really. I mean, it's the same bloody lands, isn't it? The question is, was there something to do in the title? Yes, there is. That's Bestel's Epic Optional. Let's do that first. Well, that looks ominous. I'm 
glass blower's bauble. Yeah, I'm just... It's almost like I might as well have no evasion at the moment the way I'm getting damaged. right for XP I think Superior hallowed flask. <clears throat> Shit. A bit of flank there, people. Still doing awesome damage to them. It's just me. It's just me taking damage that's the issue. Just got a unique drop over there. But Barbute Helm doesn't sound like it's for me. It sounds heavy, just by its name. <laughs> uh, I don't know, actually. It looks a bit light. Let's see what that's all about. Mm, 107 armor. What's so special about that, then? I don't understand what's so truly about that unique helm. It's literally got nothing special on it. Well, 42 strength, I suppose, is quite high, but... Only requires level 18, and it's got 107 armour. I've got no idea why that's special at all. Unless you can... Unless you can alter those uh, uniques, I've got no idea why... That's special. Bestel's manuscript. I think I'd already made a note of that, really, hadn't I?
Uh, is this the way we came in? Yeah, it is. I think this house is clean, but there is a little bit over there by the broken ship that seems undiscovered. It's probably just a bit of wall. Well, it's a bit of sea as it happens. Well, it's whether or not we bounce back, and we might as well actually, because we've got a waypoint here, so we can just dump what we've picked up. Finish that quest off. what is happening <laughs> I seem to have ended up in all sorts of wrong oh no that's right I just I don't know how I ended up over there on the right hand side divination cards armor weapons oh I've not got that I thought I had the uh, uniques tab I don't it's on the Xbox I've got the uniques tab so I'll store that over there for now I might keep that tricorn for a bit get rid of that we'll keep that and get rid of everything else I think welcome No now, wrong tab. If I can salvage your door somewhere. <laughs> if I can salvage your door somewhere. A 21% increased global physical damage. Plus no energy shield. Plus 17 to strength and intelligence might be handy. Oh, that's the uh, belts. Uh, the chains. Maximum life and sh plus 33 to strength. Dexterity and intelligence, strength and intelligence, strength and dexterity. The reason that I don't want to take the chain is because our chain has got... Oh, we might get the perk, but... Yeah, it's life per hit with enemy we've got on the chain. So it might be... Unless we really luck out and get it back on this chain, which I doubt... Um, 
might be better going for the belt. Which is just the strength. What belt have we got? I don't think it's anything special, is it? Plus 31 to strength on the belt already, so there's no point in going with that then. Plus 18 to strength and intelligence already on the belt we've got as well. So we certainly wouldn't want to change it. Let's take that one and see what we get with it. Yeah, it's all bollocks. I mean, plus two to all attributes is pretty decent, but I wouldn't want to lose all the other stuff that I've got on... Uh... Well, I might just sell you at best, L, to be fair. Let's crack on. I'm not really sure what the purpose of all of this is at the moment, because maybe it'll kick in when we get Nessa back. But at the moment, I don't even feel like there's a particularly grand story being told or anything. It's almost like just run around the same areas again, finding folk. I guess the Brine King is the, the main story. Where's Fallen from Grace then? Clear the Twilight Strand. We can find out where that was. Not too far from a level up. I do feel like I'm running around this area from a different perspective, though, without any shadow of a doubt. I feel like I was viewing it from a different direction the last time I was here. Cobalt Jewel. Place into an alloc allocated jewel socket on the passive skill tree. Whoa, fuck me. What the hell was that? Fuck off, as if. <laughs> Crock of nonsense, that is. This is where the game starts to get frustrating for me, though. Like, just dying on the on a whim of one enemy because I just don't have any protection all of a sudden. Could turn those into something, though, I suppose, but they're not really for our character build, are they? Holy fuck. I want that arrow quiver. These badges will stop attacking me for a second. Penetrating arrow quiver. So level 48. No, no, no uh, thingy on, no life at all on that one. Plus 50 to maximum life. 
gives you one to two physical damage. What fucking bollocks is this? <laughs> I mean, how many fucking levels in this game do you have to be up before it drops you some decent shit? I mean, there's nothing on that thing that's of any use to man the beast. Level up and ride your pony! Bone ring. Minions have increased attack speed and cast speed. Yeah, there's bugger all on that that's of any use. Am I missing a trick here? Why am I not able to... Uh... Oh, here we go. Oh, blimey, here's a thing. Trying to remember what the hell we were doing. Well, we got that down there. I think I backtracked, didn't I, to try and get the things that I'd missed up here. Yeah, here we go. Attack speed, attack speed, attack speed. I think we were going to get those. I think we'd got the bow damage ones that we'd missed. So let's do that. Old split arrow that I'm using there. Oh fucking hell! Eye of the Eye of Conquest must be part of a. Weakness must be purged lest it poison the blood of all Karoi or Karui or Karol. Prayer to, to Kahama, to Kohama. Karui Forest. Well, yeah, Karui Forest. I don't know what the hell that noise was for, but it was dropped an orb over here.
Well, I'm pretty sure that must be the. Well, that must be the door we came in, isn't it? Yeah. There's an exclamation mark up to the left, which we spotted earlier. Well, is this going to take us into the forest? A fortress gate. Yeah, Karui Forest. Oh, fortress, not forest. <laughs> Written down forest. Yeah, to be fair to the game though, much as though the sort of base areas are, are the same map-wise, it is giving you new locations within them, which is quite cool. Zealot gloves and an amethyst flask. Hellfire. I might have to put me other quiver back on because just to get the extra health on hit. Crikey almighty, it gave us a few uh, enemies there, did it not? And there's more. Come here, there's more. Find a way to unlock the exit.
There's a couple of entrances up here. <clears throat> Quite a few of those jewels now, aren't they? The ones for putting in the passive tree. Don't know what the frack that is on the head. On the head. I've come all the way back round again. I thought I found... Oh, there they are. <laughs> I found the... Oh, look at all those... It's like a massive bridgeway across the centre and I've walked right past it. <clears throat> Was it though? Or is that where it said find a way to unlock the exit? I know. That's right. Tuka, Tuka Hama's Keep. Fucking hell. This could end badly. Oh, hello. Quite literally just using my... <laughs> totems to get around this fight at the minute. Oh, steady. Not doing any damage with that stuff. Unless you can only damage it at a certain point. Got him, people. Tukohama. The soil wants for your blood no more. Nothing too great there, was a sin. I am sin, thief of virtue, and it is mine to take what I will from the defeated, to make a gift of it to the victorious. Alas, your mortal frame cannot withstand the unfettered fire of deism. It would turn your blood to mist and scorch your precious flesh black. So choose modestly and choose wisely, for there is much more at stake here than your little hopes and dreams. Okay. Hello. Open Pantheon. Box that. Use this panel to switch 
god powers. All right. You may only have one major and one minor god power active at a given time. The major, the major god appears up to up the top. The major gods appear up the top. The minor gods appear below and are smaller than the major gods. Seems reasonable. You can unlock new god powers by defeating them in battle and can enhance these powers by capturing the souls of the certain of certain bosses in end game maps. You can only change which god powers you have active when in towns or hideouts. Well, it doesn't seem to let me do anything at the moment. So, I can only assume I don't have a god power then. I feel like that's where I don't know which way we came in and which way we I feel like we came in that way I don't feel like I got anything out of this other than it unlocked that god power thing that I can't use I don't know where to go. <laughs> where am I going to be going, people? Clear the twilight strands. Search the mud flats for Nessa. The exit to Karui for Fortress is now open. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, but I've already been in Karui Fortress, haven't I? Thought that's where I just fought the bloody thing. All right, hang on. Yeah, it's just the other side. <laughs> I don't know, people. Make things clearer. Could be running around this fucking place for hours now, trying to find out what I have to do. The exit to the Karei Forest is now open. Travel to Exium Prison. Kill Chevron. Like, I, I've no I What does that mean? Does it mean I do it from here? Do I do it from somewhere else? Do I... I mean, it doesn't fucking tell you, does it? Don't bloody... <sighs> Sin wants you to find the spirit of Chevron of Umbra in the in her tower, in the prison, and kill her. Right, and that's saying that that is an extension of the Karui Fortress. So why can't I find it? So it's definitely from here. Pretty sure that one's just going to be the way out. I'm pretty sure this is the way we came in here. Yeah. I actually thought <clears throat> this was the Nessa quest we were on, but it's not, obviously, because we haven't found Nessa in the mud flats yet. I have no idea what this means then, because all I can do is go straight through the middle of this thing. Unless that's it to the right inside the place, and I've just missed a... Uh, but it doesn't say there's an entrance on it.
That says Karui Fortress there. But that just takes me to the other side of the thing, doesn't it? Oh, maybe not. Maybe it is another part of the map that you can't get to from... Yeah, it is, yeah. There you go. We need to go up here. This, I think this is the bit where... Is this not the bit where it said find a way to unlock the exit? I think that's what it is. But that little arrow wasn't showing earlier. Which is what confused me. A bridge. I don't know whether to do this now or whether to do... Could do with finding a waypoint and then go back and find... Nessa. Might be a waypoint here. Hey, there it is. Well, as it happens, might be a perfect place to start the next part. Yeah, heading up that way. I think in the next part, now that we've got the waypoint to go straight to here, might go back to the mudflats and uh, try and find Nessa. Got a few bits we can hand in. Get that out of the way. Good tidings to you. Hey, not actually sure where I kept my jewels. I put, I uh, put them in there. Any progress? It's a bit of a shame on that quiver because it actually looks like it might look quite smart, but just don't have anything of any particular worth to me. Yeah, the coast. There isn't one in the mudflats, is there? So we have to go back to the coast. We'll have to rediscover the bloody mudflats now as well. So we shall continue in the next part, people, from this very spot and try and find Nessa. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Been away for it for a few weeks. Feeling a little bit on the frail side when it comes to getting hit, though. I have to say, we need to find some better armors and stuffs. Help us out. But we're still feeling pretty powerful on the weapon side, though. There you are, folks. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Path of Exile on the PlayStation 5. And I shall catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.